Game Grumps is a Let's Play web series hosted by Aaron Hansen and Dan Avidon. Created in 2012 by co-hosts Hansen and John Joffrey, the series centers around its hosts playing video games and comedically commentating on them. After Joffrey left the show in 2013 to focus on his own YouTube web series, John Tron, he was succeeded by Avidon. The YouTube channel for Game Grumps was part of Polaris, a network owned by Maker Studios, from June 2013 to January 2016 but now operates under Jetpack, a network created by Adam Montoya. The channel has expanded to include other hosts besides the main two as a part of spin-off shows since Joffrey's departure, including Ross O'Donovan, Barry Kramer, Susie Burho, and Brian Wecht, as well as various guest hosts. As of January 2019, Game Grumps has over 5 million subscribers and over 4.6 billion total video views. Format Episodes usually consist of two or more hosts playing a video game, featuring their commentary, experience with, and opinions of, the chosen game, as well as related and unrelated discussions, along with stories from their lives. Many of the games played on the show are sent in by fans, who mail games into the Grumps P.O. Box in Glendale, California. The channel typically uploads two or three episodes each day. Lengthier games often result in ongoing series, which continue airing until completion unless ending early in favor of beginning a new series. Occasionally, the hosts will participate and compete in multiplayer games, as part of their Game Grumps vs. series. Though the episodes usually consist of two or more people, there are some special episodes with Hansen or Avidon alone. History Game Grumps was created by John John Tron Joffrey and Aaron Eager after Hansen, and began with a video with the two playing Kirby Superstar uploaded on July 18, 2012 to video streaming site YouTube. According to Joffrey and Hansen, the idea for the show came about when the two were arguing over whether or not the character Wolf from the fighting game Super Smash Bros. Brawl was too similar to the character Fox in terms of their fighting styles. After animator Ross O'Donovan told the duo about their tendency to be grumpy with each other over video games, Hansen came up with the idea of a podcast revolving around this concept, though the show ultimately became a video series on YouTube rather than a podcast. In September 2012, Barry Kramer was brought onto the show as an editor. Hansen and Joffrey worked on the show together until June 25, 2013, when Joffrey announced he would be leaving the show due to desires to focus on his own show. Many fans were upset by Joffrey's departure from Game Grumps, with many expressing disappointment in the decision's last-minute announcement, as well as the channel's decision to announce the beginning of Steam Train on the same day. After Joffrey's departure, Ninja Sex Party vocalist Dan Avidon succeeded him as co-host of the main show. Avidon also joined animator Ross O'Donovan as co-host of the show Steam Train, where both play PC games, the title references the retailer Steam. This expanded the channel's output to three videos a day, two standard Game Grumps episodes and a single Steam Train episode. Steam Train later expanded to include Hansen as a co-host at times, as well as featuring one of the group's editors, Barry Kramer, and Hansen's wife, Susie Burho. The expansion also introduced a new Steam Rolled series, where four-player games, not necessarily PC games, are played by the group. In October 2013, the group began a gameplay series featuring Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate on the Polaris YouTube channel, titled Hunting Monsters. A second installment, featuring Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate, began in February 2015. In December 2013, Kramer and Burho began hosting Table Flip, where they dress in Victorian 19th century American period clothing and play tabletop games, such as card games, board games, and tile based games with other YouTube personalities. The series was professionally produced by Polaris, with seven cameras and extensive editing in post-production to fit the content to the show's 45-60 to 60 minute format on Polaris's website rather than the Game Grumps YouTube channel. The final episode of Table Flip aired on October 14, 2016. In November 2014, Kevin Abernathy was hired to assist Kramer with video editing and production. Although Abernathy took on editing for most of the series, Kramer continued to edit Steam Train. Since Abernathy's departure from the show in mid-2016, Kramer, Ryan McGee, and Matt Watson have taken on editing duties. In January 2015, to celebrate reaching 2 million subscribers, a new show called Grumpcade was launched, featuring any combination of co-hosts playing console games. The show also features guest YouTube personalities, including game critics Pro Jared, The Completionist, and Markiplier. Shortly after, in February 2015, 
Grump Out, a channel dedicated to recreational and live-action video projects, was created. In November 2015, Avidon's Ninja Sex Party bandmate Brian Wecht officially joined the team, leaving behind his career as a theoretical physicist. The channel also airs special holiday-themed series, featuring holiday-themed games, including Jingle Grumps and Steam Sleigh for Christmas, Ghoul Grumps and Screen Train for Halloween, Date Grumps, Single Train and Love Train for Valentine's Day, and Stout Train for St. Patrick's Day. In February 2016, it was announced that Avidan and Hansen would appear at Hollywood Improv for a special performance of Game Grumps Live on March 30th and 31st. Later, in April 2016, it was announced that Avidan and Hansen would appear at Levity Live in Nyack, New York for more performances of Game Grumps Live on April 29th and 30th. Game Grumps Live has since gone on to become a regularly touring entity, performing across the United States and Canada in brief regional stints at a time. On January 6, 2017, it was announced that the show's middle slot would no longer upload on a consistent schedule. While Steam Train and Grumpgate were not cancelled, the format was changed so that they would be released only upon the creator's discretion on an occasional basis. A few substitute shows were created to fill the empty slot on certain days. These include Doodle Dudes, an artistic show hosted by O'Donovan and Chris O'Neill, The G Club, a media-centric podcast show, and Dragons in Places, an audio-only podcast detailing the Dungeons and Dragons campaign. On June 13, 2017, Game Grumps announced on their official Twitter account that they were developing a video game of their own. A teaser trailer for the game was released on June 18, 2017, titled Dream Daddy, a dad dating simulator, to be released on July 13. After some delays, Dream Daddy was released on Steam on July 20. On the day of its release, Hansen stated that Game Grumps was now a video game development studio. In December 2017, Kramer announced that he would be departing from the show to focus on his own pursuits. He was replaced by Ryan McGee and Matt Watson. On the April 18, 2018 episode, the opening intro was updated. Since 2015, Game Grumps has also been developing an animated series titled Game Overs, created by O'Donovan. By June 21, 2017, the development team had expanded to include writer Chad Guand, concept artist Ashley Swaby, and story artist Crooked underscore Glasses. Philanthropy In late 2013, the Game Grumps had put various games, which they'd received multiple copies of, on eBay for auction, with all the proceeds going to the children's charity Child's Play. After the auctions ended, they had raised a total of over $7,000. In June 2015, a five episode miniseries was released called Guild Grumps. O'Donovan mentored Hansen, Avi Don, Kramer, and Burho in a five day race to advance from level 90 to level 100 in World of Warcraft. Each participant had $1,000 to donate to a charity of their choice, if they reached the goal. If they did not, their donation would be split between those who won. In the end, O'Donovan was the sole winner, and, combined with the participants' distributed funds, donated $5,000 to Cancer Research. As of 2015, Game Grumps has raised over $70,000 by hosting charity live streams on Twitch. In 2016, Game Grumps raised approximately $155,000 by hosting another charity live stream on Twitch, as well as redirecting all proceeds from an exclusive shirt to the cause. The live stream was for the Crisis Text Line a free text service available for people experiencing moments of crisis. On February 17, 2018, Game Grumps held a six-hour live stream on Twitch.tv in which they played several games, including Mad Max, Half-Life 2, Fallout, and Overwatch, in order to raise donation money to go to the crisis text line. Later in the same year, Game Grumps did another six-hour live stream to raise money for Camp Kesem. Promotions In 2013, before Joffrey's departure to work on his own John Tron series, Joffrey and Hansen appeared in a promotional video for the Warner Brothers Pictures movie Pacific Rim produced by Polaris. The video also featured other internet personalities Jesse Cox, Brooke Dodger Lawson, Mike LeMond, and John Bain. In the video they played new recruits under training by the lieutenant commander played by Robert Kaczynski. In 2015, the game Grumps were featured in the official revealed trailer for the Shovel Knight amiibo figure. Popularity and Influence The show and its hosts have since been referenced in a number of video games such as DLC Quest and the angry video game Nerd Adventures. In the third issue of the 2016 Doctor Who 9th Doctor comic series, 
an alien girl is seen wearing a hey I'm grump. I'm not so grump. Shirt. A specially modified version of the demo for the Stanley Parable was played on the channel's sideshow Steam Train which addressed the show's hosts, Dan Avidon and Rosso Apostrophe Donovan. In an interview with Entertainment Weekly, Olympic swimmer Tom Shields said that Game Grumps was one of his favorite shows and that he watched it almost daily. He mentioned that the show's hosts helped, him, normalize a lot of things. It's kind of a new phenomenon in, his, life. Actor Vitas Vernas has contributed games to the series as well as having included an Easter egg in reference to the show and the game to mystery, in Charm's Way. Stranger Things child actor Finn Wolfhard, who appeared on multiple episodes of Guest Grumps, cited Game Grumps as one of several gameplay channels that he frequently enjoys watching. Awards and Nominations References Ext